So about a month ago, I leased 130 acres of lands with the hopes of hog hunting. Since then, we've set out cameras and we've gotten everything on camera from turkey, deer, raccoons, possums, coyotes, you name it, we got it out there, but we don't have the pig. So today I'm gonna to be doing a special little secret hog blend that is sure to bring them in. What we got here is pretty simple. Only need four ingredients. We got some corn, we got some Hawaiian punch, some Kool-Aid, and then we got some yeast. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna fill a five gallon bucket halfway up with some corn. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and dump in a whole gallon of orange Hawaiian punch. Now, I don't think it matters what flavor Hawaiian punch you use. The main thing is, is we want the sugar and the sweetness that's in this punch. That sugar is gonna do a couple of things. One, it's gonna release that sweet scent that's gonna bring the pigs in, but it's also gonna help to break that corn down and give this a real sour smell to it. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go in with some Kool-Aid. I believe this is cherry. Once again, I don't think it matters a whole lot. Just looking for that sugar in there. And then the key ingredient that's really gonna turn this corn into some sour corn is this uh, fast acting instant yeast. So we got three packs of that we're gonna sprinkle in here. And all that's gonna do is help that corn to ferment and get real sour. All right, so we got all our ingredients in. Just got me old piece of wood here. Stir that up, mix it up really, really well. All right, and that's pretty much it. We're gonna leave that just like this. Now it's gonna take anywhere from about three days to a week to really really get sour it just depends on how hot it is we got a couple of cold nights on the way so not sure how long it's going to take but no longer than a week also we're going to put this lid on just to kind of i guess cover up a little bit of the scent but we want to make sure that we're keeping that cracked right there because that's going to put off a ton of gases right once it starts to corn starts to swell up um if you got that that lid on there really really tight it's going to cause that bucket to swell up and possibly explode so that'll be good right there and i'll see y'all in a couple of days we'll be putting this corn out so it has been about three days since we built this sour mash for the pigs let's take a look at it so y'all can see all the flies on it oh my gosh that is rank right there y'all that smells horrible anyways whoo we're gonna put this lid on it and we're gonna take it out and drop it the worst thing that can happen today is this spilling in the back of my car so i could smell that bait all the way up here i got the lid tight on that bucket it is rank if that don't bring the pigs out nothing will I'm glad to be getting this stuff right here out of the car. All right, so there's our trail camera right here. This is our old hog waller. Y'all can see I've put a ton of corn out here and it's just about all gone right now. A couple little grains. We started with three sacks. So this is our first treatment of sour bait right here. Oh my gosh, dude, that stinks to high heavens. All right, hopefully the deer will leave that alone. I can hear it like fizzing and bubbling. Y'all can hear that yeast coming out of it. So, got me a stick right here so I can try to scrape all that Kool-Aid and stuff out the bottom. So, sour feed set up. We do also Want to just spread some regular corn around. And I want to spread this out far. That way, those pigs, when they find this sour feed, they're going to eat that pretty quickly. And once it's gone, it's gone, right? So I got to give them something that I can broadcast in the area 
to keep them around a little bit longer until I can get some more feed out. So just taking this corn here, and we're gonna make sure we scatter it real good. All right, so all of the bait has been laid out, got the camera set up. We're gonna sit here, let it sit, see what we can find, and I will come back to y'all and show y'all what we have coming in on our cameras. All right, y'all, so I ended up setting that corn out at about 2 or 3 p.m., and I kid you not, by about 9, 9.30, here comes the pigs. Looks like we had a bunch of piglets coming in, probably about 10 different pigs. I only saw one decent-sized pig, but I can only imagine that in due time, more pigs are going to start coming out there. So I am pumped about having the pigs finally coming out here to it. Also, I have something pretty cool that is on the way that y'all do not want to miss. Uh, it should hopefully be here in the next three or four days that is going to take this hog hunting to the next level. If y'all know what it is, y'all comment below. At least put your guesses down there. But yeah, we got a ton of awesome content coming y'all's way and a ton of of pig hunts. Thank y'all for watching and if y'all would leave me a like, comment with any questions, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see y'all next time.